If people don't want to be scammed, first of all, they have to get informed and they have to stop getting all their perceptions from the mainstream media. When you step back from mainstream sources and you look at alternative sources where narratives are being questioned instead of parroted and repeated, then you can start to see how the dots connect. What is happening that is the point of revelatory understanding? It's why it's happening. See, what's missing is context. You know, the mainstream media will tell you that something's happening. They won't tell you accurately, unbiasedly, why it's happening. I have this phrase, know the outcome and you'll see the journey. If you don't know where the world's being taken and who by, and the techniques of manipulation that take us there, then the world is a random place. You look at a newspaper and you look at the news or whatever and lots of random things are happening. From that perspective of perceptual randomness to make sense of the world, not going to do it. When you know where the world's being taken, you know basically who's taking us there, why, and the techniques of manipulation to take us there, suddenly randomness disappears because what is random to most people becomes a very clear sequence of events that is taking us in a very obvious direction towards the outcome. One of the expressions, and very relevant to today, of this mind control, what they call trauma-based mind control, is that when someone's traumatized in a state of anxiety, in a state of fear, they become massively suggestible. This is why they use trauma as part of the mind programming. So what they're doing to humanity as a whole is producing reasons to fear, reasons for trauma, reasons for anxiety. And when they've manipulated people into those states, they then put the mind control suggestions in there of um, that change perception. This cult is not really targeting the conscious mind overwhelmingly, it's targeting the subconscious mind, which then filters through to become conscious perception. They put the suggestions in and change people's psyche. What's happened is that so many people in the last few months have been put under a hypnotic spell. And indeed, people are put through a hypnotic spell their entire lives. You start, you go through the education system and then into the, the world of, you know, where the media is telling you everything. It's a hypnotic spell that's being cast on the human race. And when people talk about people waking up, what does that mean? It means they wake up from the trance. They wake up from the spell. And so I meet so many people because of what I do. And what do they say? I woke up. It's exactly what happens. When you can put out information that's putting a different angle on everything, what you're doing is breaking the spell because the spell is basically all that anyone's ever heard. All mainstream sources, they're all sources of the spell. And when people hear other sources of information and other ways of looking at the world, it breaks the spell. And people say, I woke up. Yeah. You woke up from the trance that you've basically been put in since the day you were born. What has happened in the last few weeks of this hoax has been the most potent, obvious, in-your-face example of a spell being cast on the human psyche. Because someone, you are feeling sleepy, has told them to do so. No questioning, no research, know who benefits, just do it. Why is it that so many people in the military, especially in the more, if you like, extreme elements of the military, why do they find it so hard to come back into human society? Because they've become so used to being told what to do that they don't know how to function when no one's telling them what to do anymore. You don't need a scientific mind to understand reality. You need a free one. The human disease is ignorance because the system has made them ignorant. 
They are ensuring that basically as much as possible, you only see what you already believe. Ignorance is still a choice. They're trying to make it no longer a choice by suppressing alternative information. But still now, ignorance is a choice. If people want to know what is possible and what's going on beyond what they're told, it's there still for now in books and on the internet, videos, etc., where they can see it. But what they're doing now with the internet is trying to firewall off people in the same way as the Chinese do, but in a more subtle way. Something Tesla said, you can think deeply and be quite insane, but you need to be sane to think clearly. If you look at a human life, it is a 24 seven almost, downloading of a program of perception. Look at it. You come out of the womb and you are immediately influenced in your perceptions of the world by your parents who've been through the same programming process you're about to go through and are not passing it on to you through malevolence but because they think it's real. So immediately you're out the womb and you're already having your perceptions directed and molded by your parents. Then three, four, sometimes five years only after you enter this reality, you're sitting at a desk and an authority figure called a teacher is telling you at least five times a week, hours and hours a day, what is, what isn't, what's right, what's wrong, what's possible, what's impossible, what's happened, what's not happened. And in terms of control, they're telling you when you have to be there, when you can leave, when you can eat, when you can talk, when you can go to the toilet. You've only just arrived and this is going on. And then all the way through your formative years, right into your teenage years, this download of the state's version of reality is going on. At the same time, your parents, when you're younger, they are confirming that what you're being told at school is true. All the people around you, your peers and your friends and your acquaintances, are going through the same programming system. Every time you turn on the mainstream media, and much of the alternative, let me say, they are telling you the same thing is true. And so on and on and on it goes. And then there's not only the download of, of the perception, there's also the policing of the perception. If you challenge what you're being told at school, then you are a disruptive influence in the classroom. If you question what I call the postage stamp consensus, what this download is telling us to believe in, in terms of its narrowness of possibility, then your peers ridicule you or call you crazy because you're challenging this norm. Next stage, you go into the adult world. You go into politics, you go into journalism, you go into medicine, you go into science, you go into the corporate world, you go into education to be a teacher or an academic. And what are you taking in to those institutions? The core programming that you've been downloading since the day you were born, actually before, in the womb, through the mother as well, perception programming. All the way through your life, you are being bombarded with a sense of normality and a sense of the possible and a sense of reality, which is so powerful in controlling people's perceptions. This is what you're dealing with. You're dealing with people who are so programmed, they cannot literally think outside of it. So as Tesla said, they can think deeply within the program, but they th can't think clearly, so they see beyond the program. Why do animals know when an earthquake's coming? Why do they know when there's a storm coming before humans do? Because they haven't been to school. They don't read the local newspaper and watch the mainstream media. They've not got peer pressure all the time to desensitize them from the wider field and focus them only in a tiny band of it. Because everything is energy in the end, everything is waveform energy in its base form. When you start to expand your awareness into the greater field, you're expanding your awareness into greater understanding, into greater insight, into greater knowledge. And that's the last thing that the few seeking to enslave and direct billions want you to do. They want you isolated in a sense of little me, in a sense of everything's apart from everything else, rather than we're all expressions of the same awareness, having different experiences. And so the system has been set up to pressure people from the earliest age to sense and self-identify 
themselves with the labels of experience rather than the infinite, eternal totality of who we really are. We're at this fork in the road where people have to choose. Are they going to go on being controlled sheep and robots of the control system or are they going to wake up and take the road to freedom? And that's the choice that people are facing now and will face ever more blatantly in the next few years.